Hypersonic E-Jets are the world's fastest E-Jets, and as a result, it is inevitable that they will pique the interest of people all over the world due to their speed. These E-Jets are being developed in large part by governments around the world in an effort to outdo one another in the never-ending power struggle between countries such as the US, Russia, China, and others among others. But US Air Force failed to launch the hypersonic glide vehicle, but Elon Musk, who is very known for his vertical takeoff and landing rockets ready to deliver horrifying hypersonic fighter E-Jets to the US Air Force. Hello and welcome to Elon Musk Evolution. If you're a Musk fan and you don't want to miss anything about this incredible person, then smack the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. In today's video, we are going to tell you how Elon Musk delivered hypersonic e-jets to the US Air Force. So let's see in this video what's the latest update so far. The third test flight of the hypersonic fighter e-jets was a failure, as had been the case with the previous two flights, and the reasons for this have not been determined. On Wednesday, the missile failed to separate from the wing of the B-52H bomber during a test that took place in the U.S. An unidentified issue caused the launch sequence to be aborted before it could be released. The missile will be returned to the factory, where analysis of the telemetry and onboard data will begin immediately, Collins said in a statement to the magazine, adding that the U.S. will make every effort to resume testing as soon as possible. The United States Air Force announced in July that the second hypersonic fighter E-Jets test flight had failed because the missile did not ignite properly and that the first test in April had failed because the carrier's default had caused the missile to fail. Hypersonic weapons are being developed by the U.S. military in at least three different types. The Navy's conventional prompt strike weapon system, the Army's long-range hypersonic weapon system, and Air Force hypersonic fighter E-Jets. Elon Musk is hopeful he can launch hypersonic fighter E-Jets to the U.S. Air Force. In a presentation made while standing in front of what he calls the Starship, Musk said that they are ready to deliver hypersonic E-Jets within a few days. When you think of hypersonic weaponry in planes, this is the fundamental description that comes to mind and it can also relate to hypersonic sound. For example, sound frequencies exceeding around 1000 million megahertz, as well as hypersonic light. Hypersonic flight is defined as any flight that is faster than Mach 5 and that travels through the atmosphere at a lower altitude than approximately 55 miles. The disassociation of air that occurs as a result of these events causes extremely large heat loads to be generated as well. Hypersonic flow is essentially high energy flow in its most basic definition. A further example of this phenomenon is that hypersonic weaponry can move at speeds five times or greater than the speed of sound, which is one example of this phenomenon. In order to meet these new difficulties, the Air Force is considering a number of improvements and enhancements. The modernization and streamlining of the fighter fleet has been a special priority. The business of maintaining seven aircraft fleets in operation at all times will have to be phased down, says the general. During the conference, Hinault spoke with reporters. That is prohibitively pricey. There are too many fleets. Musk said that the ARRW system is designed to provide the ability to destroy high-value, time-sensitive targets and will expand the capabilities of precision strike weapon systems by enabling rapid response strikes against heavily defended land targets. The service's fiscal year 2022 budget request included $238 million for continued research and development and $161 million for initial procurement of the hypersonic system. The Air Force intends to retire its F-15C and D planes, which have reached the end of their service lives and are no longer needed. As Hinault put it, they're becoming progressively unflyable. This means that a large number of vehicles we depot end up needing to be grounded. The Air Force also intends to retire the venerable A-10 ground attack aircraft by 2030 if all goes according to plan. The F-22, F-35, F-15E and EX and the F-16 will be the four aircraft models that will remain in service. Hypersonic cruise missiles and hypersonic glide vehicles are the two major forms of hypersonic weapons. By definition, hypersonic weapons move at five or more times the speed of sound. Scramjet-powered hypersonic cruise missiles are limited to a range of less than 100,000 feet. Hypersonic glide vehicles have the ability to travel faster. A hypersonic vehicle, in comparison to a ballistic trajectory, would be capable of large angle deviations from a parabolic trajectory. According to a CNBC story from July 2019, Russia and China are the leaders in hypersonic weapon development with the U.S. trailing behind. In this case, the issue is being handled through a cooperative initiative including the whole Department of Defense. The U.S. Army is working in a collaborative program with the U.S. Navy and Air Force to develop a hypersonic glide body to satisfy this development need. India is working on similar weaponry. France and Australia may be interested in the technology as well. 
both scramjet and boost glide weapons are being acquired by Japan. The program itself has the potential to reshape the defense industry dramatically. If the Air Force decides to purchase NGAD in the near future, it will be adding a rival to the F-35 and F-15X programs, potentially jeopardizing them. Because the advanced manufacturing techniques required to manufacture the NGAD were pioneered by the private sector, the program may allow for the emergence of new prime contractors for the aircraft. According to Mackenzie Eaglin, a defense budget analyst with the American Enterprise Institute, the disclosure of a flying full-scale fighter prototype could be exactly what the Air Force needs to gain more financial support from Congress at a critical time when the service is facing budget constraints and needs to gain momentum. According to defense authorities and media reports, Japan's defense sector will accelerate in 2022 in response to mounting threats from North Korea and the People's Republic of China. Furthermore, the acceleration intends to strengthen the country's defense self-sufficiency. Advanced items in development include stealth fighter jets, long-range cruise missiles, unmanned war drones, and hypersonic weapons. Meanwhile, a new office within Japan's defense ministry will direct and support the country's defense sector. In order to complete Japan's defense, it is essential to focus on maintaining and strengthening the defense industry and technological bases given the increasingly severe security environment and the rapid progress of technological innovation, Defense Minister Nobuo Kishi said at his year-end news conference on December 28, 2021. The new Defense Industry Policy Office, according to Kishi, will be part of Japan's Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Agency's Equipment Policy Division. Its main purpose will be to keep, strengthen, and reinvigorate the military industry's competitiveness and technological capabilities. According to agency records, ATLA was established in 2015, a year after Japan's constitutional limits on arms exports were repealed to strengthen the country's defense sector by boosting technology research, development, and sales with friendly nations. ATLA collaborates with Japan's premier defense firms to produce defensive assets. According to Defense News Magazine, the projected FX stealth aircraft, also known as a sixth-generation fighter, is Japan's largest current defense program and is expected to replace the country's fleet of around 90 Mitsubishi F-2 fighters. Japan plans to develop the first FX prototype in 2024, with flight testing scheduled for 2028, once Mitsubishi Heavy Industries completes design and manufacturing preparations. Tokyo intends to spend approximately $48 billion building the fighter between now and 2035. The PRC possesses three times as many fourth-generation aircraft capable of supersonic speeds than Japan, according to Japan's Defense Ministry. According to Defense News, MHI is also working on an autonomous combat drone called the Faithful Wingman in partnership with Subaru Corps. The drone is expected to work alongside the FX as a scout as well as in battle with the F inbuilt X's air to air missiles. The Defense Ministry has set aside $24.3 million for remote and flight control technology and an extra $1.9 million for artificial intelligence to enable unmanned aircraft. According to Jane's, MHI is collaborating with ATLA to develop hypersonic weaponry, including a cruise missile and a gliding projectile. By the mid 2020s, the system should be ready for deployment. Such hypersonic weapons could allow Japan to strike hostile military targets in order to dissuade strikes from North Korea or the People's Republic of China. According to Japan's Nikkei Asia News Magazine, MHI is also working on an extended-range conventional cruise missile capable of striking targets over 1,000 kilometers away. The missile would have a range of up to 10 times that of current cruise missiles used by the Japan Self-Defense Forces and would be used as a deterrent. The Associated Press reported, citing Japanese defense officials, that Tokyo's decision to employ locally manufactured missiles may save money and reduce the country's reliance on U.S.-made long-range cruise missiles. Okay folks, that's it for today's video. If you're interested in watching more videos on Elon Musk, then what are you waiting for? Simply click on the subscribe button and ring the bell icon because new videos are on the way.